good morning students in this lecture we will discuss our next topic that is parallel architecture with voltage reduction i am taking this topic uh, from the book low power vlsi by gary Epp. okay now what is the mean of parallel architecture now what is the mean of parallel architecture parallel architecture means if uh, we uh, if uh, for increasing the performance of the circuit if for increasing the throughput of the circuit if we connect uh, if we connect the second system if we connect the second system and operate and operate simultaneously with the uh, with the master system so in this time this combination is known as parallel parallel combination or we can say it parallel architecture so why it is used it is always used when we need to increase the performance of the system or we can say if we need to increase the computation computational throughput okay so when we need to increase the computational throughput so at that time we can use the parallel architecture mechanism okay now why we discuss this parallel architecture here we know that when we uh, when we use parallelist architecture so uh, it increase the performance of the system then it increase the performance of the system but what is its effect in the voltage of the system because in low power vlsi design our main goal is to reduce the voltage our main goal is to reduce the power dissipation and how can we how can we how can we reduce this power dissipation we know that power dissipation p is uh, nothing but a di uh, power uh, dissipation p is directly related with the capacitance supply voltage and the frequency that is provided in the system okay and uh, there is some relationship there is some relations uh, relationship uh, through which we know that through which we know that there is a directly relationship between frequency and the supply voltage of the system okay uh, if you are using the uh, gary a book so uh, in equation 4.13 you can uh, view this equation and uh, you will get the frequency is directly related with the supply voltage of the system and this operating frequency and the operating frequency of the system is also related with the throughput or we can say also related with the output of the system okay and if we use the parallel mechanism so parallel mechanism increase the throughput so automatic parallel mechanism affect the throughput so we can say the parallel mechanism also affect the operating frequency okay so it means that this operating frequency will affect the overall power dissipation overall power consumption of the system so here we are discussing how it affects the overall uh, how it affects the uh, overall uh, voltage supply of the system okay now uh, to uh, to overcome this problem this over uh, to overcome this problem uh, we use parallel mechanism in this parallel mechanism frequency requirement of the system is reduced so that the designer can operate a lower operating voltage the designer can operate uh, the designer can design a system which operate in lower supply okay you can uh, you can see it by using this structure you can see it by using this structure here this one is the processor generally multiplexer generally multiplexer scheme is used 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 to reduce uh, multiplexing scheme is used to increase the performance okay so uh, suppose the, this uh, here so one processor is given and uh, this one uh, this processor in this processor we provide uh, input and according to input we will get the output okay so the parallel mechanism is uh, is basically used in the case of uh, uh, in the case of uh, advanced microprocessor so here i am taking a, a processor example to define this parallel mechanism so uh, to increase the throughput of the system to increase the computation of the system we divide this processor into two uh, two form okay so if uh, the supply voltage uh, supply frequency is uh, f in the uh, in the starting time so after parallel processing this supply frequency this frequency f this operating frequency will uh, will will half 
so all uh, so these two processor operates in half frequency okay now uh, these um, processor will provide the two different output and after uh, providing these output to a multiplexer we will get a single output from the system okay but in this processing but in this overall processing we uh, we minimize the frequency but because of the use of the multiplexer and the receiver side if we use demultiplexer so because of this multiplexer and demultiplexer the uh, capacitance requirement will be high so the capacitor um, if we um, if before if before using the parallel architecture if the uh, value of the capacitance is c so after the capacitance after the parallel processing this uh, capacitance will uh, will move towards the 2.2 slightly uh, slightly greater than the twice of the previous capacitance okay but it minimizes the frequency so in starting if the frequency is uh, if the if the voltage is v and the frequency is f so definitely after the parallel processing this supply voltage v will be uh, will be 0.6 v okay so this supply voltage is lowered this frequency will be lowered only the capacitance is high now uh, what is its effect to the overall power dissipation we know that power dissipation what is the equation of power dissipation what is the equation of power dissipation the equation of power dissipation if we use a single uh, if we use a single system unidirectional system okay uh, so at that time the power dissipation p equals to uh, capacitance voltage square into frequency okay so if the because of the parallel processing if the voltage is minimized and the frequency is minimized so uh, and the, this capacitance will increase so the overall power dissipation what is the value of overall power dissipation this one is the value of overall power dissipation okay so at at the starting if the power dissipation will be c if the power dissipation will be p uni so after the parallel processing this power dissipation will be 0.396 p uni okay it means that it means that uh, how much how much power is saved how much power is saved approximately approximately 60% power is saved okay because the overall system consume only 40% of power 40% of pre previous power okay but because we know that if parallel processing is used to uh, so definitely the number of capacitance uh, so number of units that we used previously will be doubled so if the number of sub system number of system number of the number of path will double so definitely the overall area of the system will increase so if the overall area of the system will increase so definitely uh, to reduce this area uh, so reduce this area uh, uh, so uh, reduce this area uh, consumption we can use the pipelining okay now how can we do parallel processing we can do parallel processing without using a double unit we can use a pipelining this one is the structure where we use pipelining here we are using a pipelining okay we are not using a we are not using the uh, not using a twice uh, unit as we used previously we just use a pipelining structure uh, for the parallel processing here we can see uh, we we use a single frequency f but we provide but we provide it according to our requirement so by using this by using this pipelining structure uh, we can uh, we can do parallel processing and by using this parallel processing the power consumption the power dissipation will reduced because overall uh, because the supply voltage is also reduced okay so uh, before before using the pipelining in the processor if the capacitance is c if the voltage is v if the frequency is f so after using the pipelining so this capacitance will be 1.2 in the case of in the case of uh, uh, parallel processing with a double unit in the case of parallel processing with double unit uh, we already discussed that the, at that time the capacitance is 2.2 slightly greater than the twice of previous capacitance but here the capacitance will be 1.2c it means that it is slightly it is only greater than the 20% of previous capacitance and also here the voltage supply will reduced uh, 40% the frequency frequency is same but because of this uh, voltage reduction the overall power consumption will reduced okay you can see here 
this one is uh, this one is the parallel architecture when we use the pipelining when we use the pipelining for the parallel processing okay so in the case of double unit in the case of double unit multiplexer the overall uh, the overall power consumption is 0 0.396 and when we are using a pipelining so at that time the overall uh, overall power dissipation will be 0 0.4 3 2 okay so uh, for making a generalized equation for making a generalized equation here we are taking a um, here we are taking a factor here we are uh, taking a factor a small n okay this small n is a uh, is a parallelism factor okay it means that how uh, how many units we are using how much parallel uh, parallelism we are uh, done in the system so this is represented by using n it means that if we are using a uh, if we are using a, uh, a twice unit as we used previously so at the time this value of n will be 2 okay this uh, this equation is used to uh, find a generalized equation for this parallel architecture so uh, for parallel processing if we use twice units so at that time if we use n number of units so at that time this capacitance will be small n the supply voltage will be uh, v by n then the frequency will v upon n so overall the the, the overall power dissipation will be the overall power consumption will be this power consumption is this power consumption is dynamic power consumption okay this power consumption is dynamic power consumption we already discussed power dissipation is of power consumption is of two type dynamic and static okay dynamic is divided into two types switching and the um, switching and the short circuited this one is under the category of switching okay so in the case of parallel processing the generalized equation is that if we are using uh, if without using if the uh, power dissipation is p uni so after uh, parallel processing the overall power dissipation p uh, power equals to p unit divided by 1 upon n square here n is square uh, here n is the parallelism, parallelism factor okay so this one is all about in this topic of parallel architecture for voltage reduction i hope all of you understand this topic well so thank you so much